Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my bedroom. I finally have my room just how I want it after, you know, trying different design ideas. At one point my room was super colorful and now it's all neutrals. The style is just what I envisioned and I could not be happier with how it turned out. The last piece to the puzzle was actually this chair and I have been loving sitting here so much, reading here and just working from this little corner. So I'm so excited to show you guys around finally. It's taken long enough. <laughs> So when you first walk into my room, you'll see this little wall hanging that I got at a ceramics shop in LA. It's from this store called Still Life Ceramics and I just fell in love with it because it has this little mushroom and rainbow and sun and it's just hanging from this little piece of driftwood and I love seeing it every time I walk into my room. So just for reference, this is the door we just came in. And then in the corner here, I have this area that I had some open shelving in before, but it just looked too cluttered and messy. So I found this set of drawers on Facebook Marketplace and it had come with these little black knobs on it, but I just ordered these wooden ones and replaced them. And I just feel like it makes it look so much better. In this top drawer, I just keep all of my supplements in here, and then in the bottom drawers, I just keep extra products. I keep a lot of the products that I need to shoot in this little organizer that I got from PBT in, and it just helps me keep everything organized and know what I need to shoot. So something super quirky about this house is that the bedrooms actually have a connecting door. So through that door is actually my roommate Amelia's room. We just find it super funny, honestly, but we do keep it shut most of the time. Um, and then over here, I have my little nightstand and underneath, I just keep a bunch of my books and postcards. And then in this little drawer, I keep old photographs. And on top, I have my Alicia Bay Laurel book, along with my candle from the Brooklyn Candle Studio. This is the Maui one. Um, I also have my Osea pillow mist, some room spray, another essential oil mist, some matches, lip balm, and of course, a seashell. I keep all these little trinkets in this ceramic holder I got from Rachel Saunders Ceramics, and I'll link that below for you guys. The house originally came with um, these like silver sconces, but they weren't really my style. But what was nice was the wiring and everything was already there. So I replaced them. Well, I didn't replace them. I hired someone to come and replace them with these really cute ones that I got from Overstock. And I just really liked the gold and wicker kind of vibe. And then I also hung some little dried flowers. And now moving from this area over to my closet, I am definitely thankful at how big this closet is. I have a lot of clothes and it has taken so long for it to be organized. But before we look at the other side of my closet, I just wanted to show you guys this side because this is the side that I usually keep open. And the closet does have two doors that fully close, but I actually just like having this open most of the time. I like looking at it now that it's all organized and seeing all the colors and textures of my clothes. It just makes me super happy. And as far as how I organize my closet, this is where I hang all my long dresses. And then going that way, I kind of do pants and then jackets, um, shorter things kind of over this chair that I fold some sweaters and towels on. Um, and then also it's a great place for me to keep my hats. Uh, and then underneath, I have this little wicker basket filled with more sweaters, shockingly. And then, of course, a stack of books, because who doesn't have a stack of books in their closet? 
Up on the top shelf in my closet, I keep two more additional baskets of clothes. And then over here, I have my yellow Dagny Dover bag that I use as a carry-on when I travel. And then in the corner there is an easel and some extra canvases. This wicker basket is actually from this sustainable company called Indigo Africa, which helps honor and support female artisans in Africa. Now moving on to the other side of my closet, this is where I'm keeping all of my summer clothes. Currently everything more colorful, not within the current color scheme, goes over here. Down at the bottom of my closet, I have this little basket for all of my travel stuff, extra makeup bags and packing cubes. And then to the left, I have my little wicker lap desk. Um, up here I have a basket filled with extra tote bags and then to the left of that is where I keep all of my swimsuits. Baskets have really helped me stay organized in my closet and this is my basket filled with my denim jeans. This is my little beach people picnic basket that I use as decoration in my room. Um, I love having it in the mirror when I take photos in front of this. I think it's just so cute. And on it, I keep a candle and some books, um, some of my paintbrushes, and some pompous grass. So this is actually the third door that's in my room, but this one leads to the bathroom, which is nice. Um, you can also access it from the kitchen, but it's nice that it is also connected to my room. On the door, I have this little wicker towel hook that I got at Target, and then my little green leaf hand towel is also from Target. The bath towel I got locally at this place called Daydream Surf Shop. It's a coffee shop and home goods shop, which is so cute. And then I have my pink ruffle laundry bag from Urban Outfitters that I literally got when I was in college and still have. This is my dresser area and pretty much where I get ready every morning. Um, I keep all of my makeup here. I do my skincare here and my hair. This lamp has actually survived every move that I've done in California. It was at my first place that I had in LA and then it was with me um, when I moved and then now here on my dresser and I just love the ceramic with the terracotta. I got it at Urban Outfitters a long time ago. I'm not sure if they still have it, but it is super cute and I will always love it. Um, over here, I have this little dish with some hair clips in it and my gua sha and some matches. And then in that little jar, I keep my toothbrush and my brush and my comb. And then over here, I have all of my skincare products that I use every single day and my essential oil diffuser from Vitruvi. In this little wicker seashell thing, I keep all of my essential oils um, just so that they stay nice and organized. I also got this vase from the same place where I got the wall hanging next to my closet. It's from Still Life Ceramics. And then over on my mirror, um, I have this little morning affirmation card from this sustainable clothing company called Christy Dawn. And I love just reading it every morning. The words are just so mindful and beautiful and inspiring. And also right next to my mirror, I have this little pressed flower print that I actually bought when I was studying abroad in Florence. So this chair is the latest addition to my room and probably my favorite thing in here so far. It is so cozy, it's basically like a cloud and I basically just wanted a chair in here so that I could read or just chill. Sometimes I even like working in here. It's just a very relaxing environment. Now back on the other side of my room, we have yet another dresser because you guys, I have a lot of products that I need to stay organized and I need a lot of space to put them because I don't like a lot of stuff out. It kind of makes me feel unorganized. Um, so on the top of this dresser, I have um, a couple candles, actually four candles, and um, this little seashell bowl where I keep all of my scrunchies in. This calendar was actually a gift from my friend Lauren, and the artist is Alicia Bay Laurel. That's the same one who um, I have her book that's on my nightstand. And then it says, wishing you a stellar year at the top, and there's a woman collecting stars. I think it's just so beautiful, and I love looking at it every day. Um, and then I have this little hanging fabric star that I got in Positano. 
Okay guys, this is the moment of truth. I'm gonna show you inside my dresser. This is the top drawer where I keep all of my skincare products. And I picked up some of these organizers from the container store, which has really helped. Um, but yeah, I just like being able to see everything. I think that's the biggest thing for me. Okay, I'm only gonna show you the top two drawers, but this is the other drawer of skincare and wellness stuff. And I feel like I've done a pretty good job organizing it. I feel like I can easily access everything. So that's what matters. And now we can talk about the beautiful bed that my friend Dylan built for me. He has a woodworking company called Elf Aesthetics. If you live in the LA area and are looking for a custom piece of furniture, I would definitely reach out to him. But on my bed right now, I have some white linen sheets from Shabby Chic. And my white linen curtains over here are actually also from Shabby Chic. The cute little round pillow on my bed is from an Australian company called Pampa. And the more sand colored sheets that are underneath my white duvet, these are from Parachute Home. And lastly, um, this front pillowcase is from Shabby Chic. These are magic linen. And then this one in the back is from the futon shop, which is actually where my mattress is from too. Thank you guys so much for watching my little room tour. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.